spin the hips, shallow the club, create a ton of lag. You ever heard of this when it comes to your downswing? Well, today I'm about to share with you why I think those are three myths and what you actually should be doing in your downswing. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV. And it's interesting in golf, for those of us who've been around for a long time, there's a lot of different trends that come in and out. So right now we're hearing a lot about when we're, when we're discussing the downswing about really spinning the hips and rotating the hips. We also got a ton of conversation about shallowing the club. That's really popular right now. Okay, and for a long time, people have said you really got to create a ton of lag. Now, I'm not saying that these three concepts are terrible, but I'm also saying that you can overdo anything. And so, what I want to share with you today is what you actually should be doing in the downswing. So, let's go ahead and let's dive right into it. Now, first of all, when we talk about dropping it in the slot, okay, or shallowing the club. What we're basically saying is from the top, feel like the club drops and shallows, okay, and that's okay if you add a ton of rotation. If you watch any of the videos out there where they're talking about shallowing the club, what you see, they might not talk about, is you see the student have a ton of rotation. It looks a lot like, I see a lot of this going on. It's up and then it's like this. Okay, now there are some people who play golf like that, but if you're coming to US Golf TV because you're an experienced golfer and you love the stuff that we do here, I, I don't think your body's going to be able to rotate like that. Okay, I don't see any golfer over 50, in my opinion, who's like this at impact. Okay, because the body just simply isn't going to allow them to do that. So, what should you be doing? Well, I think you should just let the club naturally drop on its own if you've got a good pivot. So one of my favorite ways to practice that, and the first tip I want to give you before we start talking about lag and some of the other stuff, is our little right-left drill. So when I make my right-left drill, which is just simply this, I've got a 7 iron, and as I swing the club to the right, my weight goes to the right, and as I swing the club to the left, my weight goes to the left, all right? And I make three continuous motions, looks like this, so here we go, it's right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, then I'm just going to go ahead, step up, and I'm just going to hit a shot and kind of repeat that, right, left. Now, what hopefully you noticed in the downswing right there is the club just naturally dropped. I didn't force it, I didn't try to shallow it, I didn't try to contort my body and do all these crazy things. I literally just let the club go where it goes, right? So let's do one more, and then we're gonna start talking, then we're gonna start talking about some other stuff here in the downswing. All right, we're gonna talk about spinning the hips next, right? So here we go, a little right, left, right, left, right, left. Oh, that hopefully looks normal and natural, doesn't it? Okay, here we go. Right, left, right, left. That was even a little bit better. All right, so tip number one, suggestion number one, myth number one is you've got to contort your body and just shallow the club to hit a good golf shot. You don't need to do that. The right-left drill can help you. Now, next up, let's talk about spinning the hips. And hey, do us a favor, hit the subscribe button. All right, what do you think there, Nick? Give us a, th hey, all right, it's good. So Nick gives me a thumbs up. You got to give me a thumbs up because he likes where we're going with this video. And be sure to tell us where you're from. We love hearing where you're from. It's one of our favorite things to do. So the next one is spin the hips. A lot of golfers are told like, hey, if you want more club head speed, you got to spin the hips. We, we see this with some of the tour pros, okay, where they just got this. And bear in mind, they, they are spinning their hips. I mean, they're, they're rotating them, but they're also world-class golfers. In the vertical line swing system, one of the core concepts that we teach is that there's not as much body rotation and there's more arm swing. And that's because as we age, it makes it more difficult to rotate the body and turn. All the things that you've talked about and all the reasons why you follow us at the Vertical Line Swing and why I wrote the book, The Bad Lie. It's why we wrote that book. So what should you be doing? I believe what you should be doing is yes, the hips are gonna turn, but there's also some lateral movement, some movement towards the target. That's one of the power sources. One of the power sources in the golf swing is shifting weight from right foot or trail foot to lead foot. Okay, I talk about this. I have an entire chapter on this in the, in the book where we talk about the different power sources and the shifting from trail 
to front gives us a lot of club head speed and it is very easy on the body. So here's how you can practice that. Just go ahead and get set up. I got my seven iron, all right? And I just do a little step drill. So I'm gonna step right and then step left. Everybody see that? So feet together, do it slow to start, swing it back, little mini step, swing it forward, little mini step. So here we go, let's do a three setter. So it's a little right, left, there's one, right, left, everybody see that? I'm just shifting from trail to front. Now I got the feel, I can go ahead and set up there and I'm just gonna move that weight right, left. Because when the weight is shifting to the front foot like that, you're not gonna be able to spin and contort your hips. So that would be tip number two. You don't need to really twist your hips. You wanna be a little bit open, but you also want some movement going towards the target. All right, how are we doing? Are you guys learning anything? <laughs> I hope you are, I hope you're learning some stuff and you're having some fun here. Now, the third thing is creating lag. A lot of people are like, ah, oh, I gotta get a lag, lag, lag. So first of all, what is lag? Well, lag is basically this. When you swing the golf club, all right, think of it as like there's a finish line. So let me go ahead and do it from this front view right here, what we call the caddy view, face on, we call that the caddy view, all right? Think of a, of a finish line from the ball to your body. Think of like in track, all right? There's a finish line, right? Well, when you have a lot of lag, the butt end of the club gets to the finish line before the club head. This would be a lot of lag. Everybody see that? Okay, if you tend to cast it, which some golfers do, that's when the club head gets to the finish line before the handle, okay? And what we want is we want them to be pretty close to the same. We want it to be almost a tie, all right? Matter of fact, if you're hitting an iron, yeah, maybe the butt end wins by just a nose. If you're hitting your driver, okay, you actually want the club head to arrive at the golf ball at exactly the same time as the butt end because you want to hit up on it. It's a whole other video. We talk about that in some of our other videos. So how can you practice that? Well, I'm going to tee up some golf balls. This is one of my favorite drills, all right, here. It's called four swings, three balls. Four swings, three balls, all right? Let me tee up some, I'm going to tee up three golf balls here. Now, this drill here is a great one because it teaches rhythm, it teaches tempo, and all types of great stuff. The only challenge with this drill is that you can hit a lot of golf balls really fast. So hopefully you got a range pass and you get free range balls. So I'm going to make four swings, but I'm going to hit three golf balls. So see how I've got them teed up one, two, three in a row here. So once you start swinging, once we start the motion, we're gonna to continue to move and continue to swing. All right, so it's, I'm gonna do it without the golf balls first so you kinda of see where we're going. So here's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead a little bit in front here. So I've got one, then I'm gonna go two, hit the ball, three, hit the second ball, four, hit the third ball. So once I start swinging, I'm going to keep swinging. All right, and what's gonna happen is, is that club head and that handle are gonna start matching up perfectly. So here we go, let me demonstrate it. Four swings, we're gonna hit three balls. Here we go, all right? I don't need to hit them far, I don't need to go fast, I'm just trying to make solid contact. Here we go. There's one, two, that was good. Three, better yet, four. Man, those are solid, all right? You don't gotta spin your hips, you don't gotta shallow the club, you don't gotta create a ton of lag. Yeah, there are some of those concepts in good golf swings. But for the experienced golfer, you gotta understand what your body can do and what you're capable of. I hope this video here today eliminated some of those myths, opened up your mind, and at the end of the day, helps you hit a few better golf shots.